Hi everybody, welcome to Boxing Time. On this channel you will learn a lot of news from the world of boxing. So here we go. The first undisputed heavyweight championship clash of the 21st century is already back in play. Barely 24 hours after news of a forced postponement, the Tyson Fury Alexander Usyk full unification bout is now rescheduled for May 18th in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The date was confirmed by Turkey Al Alashik, chairman of General Authority and Entertainment in Saudi Arabia, who also added a trapdoor clause in the event of another fallout. If I think Tyson is scared from this fight, I will not waste my time. We delayed it for the 18th of May. I am, I am guarantee for the both of the fighters 10 million if someone escape from the fight. This is the first thing. The lineal WBC, WBA, IBF, and WBO heavyweight championship was previously due to take place on February 17th at Kingdom Arena in Riyadh. England's Fury, 34-0-1, 24 KOs, was forced to squash those plans after a cut suffered during a recent sparring session, for which he required sticks. Ukraine's Yusik, 21-0, 14 KOs, and his team were understandably irritated by the development. Alex Krasiuk, Usyk's career-long promoter, even declared during an Instagram live story that the WBC should downgrade Fury to champion in recess and allow Usyk to face a high-ranking opponent with all the belts on the line. Event handlers briefly explored the possibility of a replacement challenger for Usyk. IBF mandatory challenger Philip Hergovic, 17-0, 14 KOs, rapidly emerged as the leading candidate before the decision was made to cancel the February 17th Ring of Fire show altogether. And the second thing, I guarantee big fight in the same night for the another one. And make the people around the world and the fans know if someone is scared or want to escape from this fight. 18 of May, we will have Tyson, Ozik, Ozik Tyson. If someone's scared, if Ozik's scared, I will call for Joshua Tyson. If Tyson's scared, I will, I will, go, I will call for any fighters uh, Ozik want. And it is my in my name, this thing. And we have uh, the Balenti from the both sides. Fury has held recognition as the lineal and WBC champion since a February 2027th round. Stoppage of then unbeaten and long reigning titleist Deontay Wilder, March 1st, 43, 42 KOs, in Las Vegas. He has made three successful defenses of the crown, but none since a December 2022 10th round stoppage of countryman Derek Kazora in a meaningless trilogy clash. His long fight since then was a narrow points win over former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou, who made his pro debut in their clash last October 28th to kick off Riyadh season. Fury was dropped in the third round, but rallied to escape with a split decision victory in their non-title fight. Usyk became a two-division champ when he dethroned two-time unified WBA. IBF and WBO titleist Anthony Joshua in their September 2021 meeting in North London. Two successful defenses have followed, a repeat win over Watford's Joshua, 27-3, 24 KOs, and their August 2022 rematch in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and a ninth round knockout of London's Daniel Dubois, 20-2, 19 KOs, last August 26th in Wroclaw, Poland. Fury Usyk will represent the first attempt to crown an undisputed heavyweight champion since November 1999, when Lennox Lewis outpointed Evander Holyfield in their entertaining rematch. There now appears daylight to end that 25-year drought, just one day after yet the latest divisional letdown. Gervonta Davis has agreed to counter Ben's proposal for their upcoming match, expressing his desire for promoter Eddie Hearn to initiate negotiations. However, skeptics find it challenging to believe that the selective Baltimore sensation, Tank, 29-0, 27 KOs would willingly opt for a bout against the undefeated and relatively unfamiliar counter Ben, 23-0, 14 KOs, especially considering his limited recognition among U.S. audiences. The reluctance stems from doubts that this fight would resonate with U.S. viewers. Given Conor Ben's relatively low profile in the American market, beyond the agreement between Tank and Ben, 
The success of this bot hinges on the ability to generate substantial pay-per-view sales. The current lack of familiarity with Conor Ben in the US suggests that the fight might struggle to achieve commercial success, impacting the anticipated purses for both fighters. Sure, why not? Where would you like your whooping at, bro? Said Tank on X. Conor Ben, oh, here he is. The woman beating Munchkin from Oz. Let's do it next. Don't be all talk either. You little shrimp. Eddie Hearn. Drop the Munchkin a DM and get this fight made next. I'm sure he'll screenshot the conversation anyway. So we will see who's full of. See you soon. Gervonta Davis. I'll be waiting Eddie Hearn. Despite Ben's less than impressive performance against Peter Dobson. 16 and 1 with 9 knockouts last Saturday night where he struggled to secure a 12-round unanimous decision at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. Doubts persist about his readiness for a high-profile clash. Dobson managed to stun the 27-year-old Ben multiple times during the fight, revealing potential vulnerabilities in Ben's skills set at this stage of his career. This performance suggests that Ben may currently operate at a domestic level and has yet to establish himself as a true world-class fighter. Top Rank is set to showcase a special Thursday night event featuring World Championship Boxing, with WBO Super Lightweight World Champion Tiafimo the Takeover Lopez defending his title against the 10th ranked WBO contender, Jermaine the Technician Ortiz. Scheduled for February 8th at the Michelob Ultra Arena at Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, the Lopez Ortiz clash will be broadcast live on ESPN. Lopez aims for a successful title defense eyeing a more lucrative challenge afterward, while Ortiz expresses confidence in pulling off a significant upset. In October 2020, Teofimo Lopez claimed a notable victory over Vasily Lomachenko, securing the IBF lightweight championship and winning the WBA and WBO lightweight titles. However, a year later, he faced an unexpected defeat, surrendering his unified crown to George Cambosos Jr., transitioning to super lightweight in August 2022. Lopez secured a victory over Pedro Campa, followed by a split decision win against Sandor Martin four months later. In his sole bout of 2023, Lopez achieved another significant win by dominating former undisputed super lightweight champion Josh Taylor via unanimous decision. This victory earned him the WBO strap, marking his official status as a two-division world champion. Despite his aspirations for a high-profile match against 147-pound unified world champion Terence Bud Crawford, Lopez must first focus on his upcoming challenge against a determined opponent in Ortiz. Jermaine Ortiz gained recognition in May 2022 with an upset victory over former WBO junior lightweight champion Jamal Herring. While he experienced a setback against Vasily Lomachenko, Ortiz rebounded with a win over Antonio Morin. Now at 27 years old, Ortiz stands on the brink of facing another high-profile opponent and vying for his first world title. Teofimo Lopez, age 26, with a record of 19-1 with 13 knockouts, is a versatile boxer puncher known for his speed, athleticism, precise timing, and counterpunching skills. Ortiz, age 27, with a record of 17-1-1, 8KOs, is an athletic switch hitter with good hand speed, footwork, and an active jab. The highly anticipated showdown is scheduled for Thursday night, February 8th. Ortiz sees this bout as the pinnacle of his career, aiming to return to Massachusetts as the new WBO super lightweight champion. While Lopez respects his opponent, he is driven by the desire for glory and aims to assert his dominance in the ring. Subscribe. Please like and comment. This is very important for the development of the channel. See you later.